We need to talk. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a different type of video from what I normally do. I feel like I've said that many, many times, but we've talked a little bit at the beginning of this year about how I wanted to do a series on like happiness and positivity and like things that I feel are really, really important, like the real meat of life, so to speak. I've had a lot of ideas and I've wrestled with myself concerning this issue because I, I, I always think of all these things that I want to say to you guys and then I remind myself, but wait, this is a makeup channel. And recently I've just been kind of like, stop! I don't know why I've been limiting myself and my content just because in my mind this is a makeup channel. Um, it's stupid. In fact, when I set out on this YouTube adventure, I named my channel My Name so that I could choose what the content was from day to day and I didn't have to stay in a certain rut or like groove. Of course this channel is about makeup, it will always be about makeup. That is my skill, my art, that is my expression, that's something that I love very, very, very much and it's also my way to connect with you guys which is what makes it all the more enjoyable. But today I'm gonna to start something new on this channel and I think that it's something that everybody can identify with. I've told myself for the longest time, no, there's no reason to do these videos, nobody's going to watch them, um, you know, people are gonna unsubscribe, and then I just kind of like hit myself over the head with a truth, and that truth was that there's nobody that doesn't need to hear these things that I have to say, and, um, and I think there's nobody whose life wouldn't be better for them. So I feel a responsibility to say these things and to make these videos that I really, really want to make in the near future for you guys. And maybe it's worth taking a little bit of a risk. Okay, so let this video act as a bit of an intro to this new series that I'm going to be doing here on my channel that I am very, very, very excited about because honestly, this is the only thing in life that really means anything. I'm just gonna put it out there. Yes, makeup and beauty are very important. It's a huge industry, it's a huge part of who we are as women and men and people and artists and creators, but there are things that are much more broad, much more kind of like, what do you call that? What's that thing? Umbrella, umbrella concepts that are bigger and they stretch over the whole of humanity rather than just a tiny little section of humanity, which is the beauty world. Okay, Sarah, you're not getting to the point, so I'm just gonna leave. Basically what I want to talk about is life and happiness and just the real, the real things that people want in life, if that makes sense, that everybody wants. Everybody wants to be happy. There's not one person on this earth who, when they're very, very honest with themselves, would say, I don't want happiness. We're going to talk about how happiness ties in with success, how to kind of reach out towards success, figure out what it is that you want to do with your life. Um, and I want you guys to keep in mind that, of course, I'm not any kind of an authority on this kind of thing, but that's the whole point. The point is that this should be information that's accessible to everybody. These should be concepts that anyone can implement in their lives. And this is my journey starting out and trying to kind of do that for my own life. And you guys are gonna come with me. So it's gonna be super fun, super exciting. And I hope that you join me because Otherwise, I'll be by myself. So if you guys have any um, requests or ideas for this series and things that you want to see um, or concepts that you want to meet, what? Concepts that you'd like me to explore or talk about, leave them down below or tweet them at me or Snapchat message me, contact me on one of the things. But to start off, I want to talk generally about happiness. Now, this is a concept that I think a lot of people don't actually understand and I myself really didn't understand it either and it's only been recently that I've been starting to understand. There's a book that I read a few months ago, I think at the beginning of this year, I might have talked about it in a favorites video, it's called The Happiness Advantage, I will link to it on Amazon or something where you can buy it if you want, but it's extremely eye-opening and really, really interesting about happiness and kind of the science of happiness and how it works um, and it's a resource that I really, really recommend if you guys are interested in being happy. But happiness is really more than that. I've looked around me in my life and at the people around me and even at myself and realized that happiness is actually a decision. You think about people in third world countries who have nothing, they don't even have homes, roofs over their heads, they have nothing to eat, they don't have anything tangible, you know, like in our eyes from a first world country, we would look at them and say, oh my gosh, like these poor people, 
But if you really start to examine these civilizations, a lot of them are so much happier than we are here in countries like America. These are people with genuine smiles on their faces. Um, I've heard stories about people traveling to these countries where people have literally nothing or countries that have been hit by devastating um, like natural disasters and they have nothing and yet when you come to visit them they will give you the shirt off their back if they have one at all they will give you you know the only can of soda that they found on the side of the road and that was gonna be their food their like sustenance for the day they will give it to you these people are not afraid they're not stingy they're not greedy like we are when we have everything compared to them so I realized and I just started to think a lot about how how backwards that is and how true happiness really can't be what we think it is I also want to make a distinction between a few different concepts here um, one of them is happiness another one is contentedness and another one is complacency I've always wondered like am I a happy person um, what would that look like if I was? What would it look like if I wasn't? If I am, why am I happy? And what I've come to realize is that I actually have gotten to a place in my life where I actually am very, very happy and I don't have everything by any means. I don't have a college degree. I have like my makeup artistry business, but it's a very small, very part-time thing. And you know, it's not like I have anything big to put on my resume and show for my existence and yet I'm happy and so I've had to kind of ask myself why that is and how other people can come to that place too because I have a really really deep-seated belief that if more people in the world were actually happy there would not be so much awful crap in the world there wouldn't be so much hate there would not be so many bullies there would not be so much violence there would not be so much greed all of these things and I think that we just get so distracted like everything is like squirrel squirrel like will that make me happy will that make me happy do I need to step on this person to get happiness do I need to you know trash this person's reputation to get myself it's just a game that we all get so lost in and we end up losing. So to answer my own previous question, I realized that I am a happy person and, and that's evidenced in the fact that when someone gets a promotion, when someone gets a, um, you know, like a dream job, when someone has a baby, when someone gets married, when someone has something that maybe I do or don't have, but that is enviable, um, I, inside, I feel true happiness for that person like I put myself in that person's shoes and I feel what they must feel like and it makes me happy for them that's just one example and we'll talk about more down the road I've realized that you can be happy even when you don't yet have all of the things you want in life even when you have not yet achieved your dreams and your goals or you know maybe you want to get married and you haven't found that person yet you can still be happy before then because your life could end tomorrow and you don't want your tombstone to say, here lies Sarah, she was waiting for happiness. You want it to say, here lies Sarah, she was a happy person. So to kind of expand upon that concept, I have and have always had very lofty goals and very big dreams for my life and aspirations and ambitions. I am not the kind of person who is just like complacent and content and just like, yeah, I'd be happy just sitting here, living in this house, in this town, doing this job for the rest of my life or whatever it may be. Um, I've never been that kind of person. And I've realized that it's okay and it's necessary to be happy in the moments before you achieve your goals. It's very important to not place your happiness on the pedestal of your goals or your dreams. With that said, it is extremely crucial that you dream. I cannot stress this enough. People were meant to grow and learn and achieve and do amazing things. We have not even, we have not even realized a fraction of the potential of humanity. And I think that that it's something that I want to see begin to happen more. But humans were meant to grow. We are learning robots. <laughs> you know, like we learn and we invent and we imagine and we create, and that is what makes us different from the animals. That is what makes us amazing, and we should always be doing that. However, to place our fundamental happiness on that pedestal and to say, when I make a million dollars in a month, I will be happy. When I have a 60,000 square foot house, I will be happy. When I find my husband and I have all the kids that I want and I 
you know, whatever, fill in the blank, I will be happy. That's wrong. Because you see all these people who get to that place and they're not happy. They're abusing prescription drugs. They're depressed. They're taking their own lives. They're making other people miserable. They're, they're being haters and bullies and, and they're exhibiting all these symptoms of a person who is not happy. So that tells me two things. One is that achieving your dreams and, and the things that you think you want in life is not, um, is not the only way to happiness and it in and of itself is not going to bring you happiness. Just like they say money cannot buy you happiness, it's completely true. Um, and two, it is possible, crucial, and it is our responsibility to find happiness before we get there. And if you're already there, cool, still find happiness. Like when you lay your head down on the pillow and you know in your heart that your heart is smiling and you're not sad, you're not jealous, you're not angry, you're not feeling entitled, that is true happiness and I want everybody, everybody to find that. So before I get too far down this rabbit hole, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys are excited about this. I'm super excited about this. I just want to do, I want to do something with my life and I always have and I've kind of decided that like I'm sick of waiting. I'm sick of not doing. As Casey Neistat says, the only thing standing between you and what you want is doing. So. I will leave you with that little quote. Um, I will link a few things down below, put a few thoughts down below, leave your comments, leave your requests, leave your ideas, and I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to have you subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.